My name is Daniel Garrett. I'm here with DeFi Yield Protocol. I want to say thank you for everybody being here. I know there's been a lot of options that you could uh, attend to, but you're here with us today. And I want to say thank you to Chainlink for hosting us. So some of the things that we want to talk about today is what makes DYP or DeFi, DeFi Yield Protocol such a dis revolutionary decentralized ecosystem, what makes us unique, the power of our smart contracts, and some exclusive products that we have, some milestones, and also the expansion that we expect in the next few months. DYP is a revolutionary decentralized ecosystem, and when we say that, we actually mean embrace the opportunities. What do we mean by that? Well, yes, we, are have, a, we have a decentralized ecosystem with DeFi products that you're probably used to, the farming, the yield, the staking, but also we offer NFTs, we offer multiple GameFi opportunities, and we also offer educational tools for our, for our users. We believe that contributions to the crypto space is going to make us very successful in the future with our different products. As you can see, we offer over 10 different products. And what we also really encourage is support for new projects. We really believe that by offering a vault, a launch pad, other opportunities for projects to grow, that that means that one, you know, the rising tide is going to raise all ships. We're highly adaptability. We have a lot of consistency in the marketplace. And we also believe that the best users are the educated users. You're going to see in just a moment that we have educational tools that allow for users to make informed decisions. And of course, throughout time, we become a trusted partner. Here you can see some of the products that we offer and the different ways that we're able to offer all of our users multiple opportunities. I want to get a little bit more in depth with the power of our smart contracts. Our smart contracts are really unique because everything is internally developed. All of our in-house specialists create our smart contracts using our anti-manipulation feature. That, that feature is, uh, means to, excuse me, aims to maintain stability, fair access to liquidity, and also provide a secure and simplified DeFi platform for users of all sizes. If you're somebody who's new, a novice user, or maybe you're a long-time DeFi user, you can come and take advantage of our products and understand that everything is fully audited by three different companies, fully secured, and monitored 24-7. Here you can see some of the, <coughs> excuse me, some of the yield farming contracts that we utilize. And this is a very unique product that we offer, including our anti-manipulation features. And what makes this so powerful is that in just under two years, we've actually rewarded 9,000 Ethereum to users, over 10,000 BNB to users, and over 27,000 tokens of AVAX to users. Uh, Chainlink actually helps provide that uh, information to us. And uh, you can see here that the yield farming is very unique for our users, but also at the same time, we have some more simplified options for our users as well. Our staking contracts, you deposit an asset, you, re you receive an asset in that native token. So we are on three chains, again, Ethereum, Binance, Smart Chain, and AVAX. You can receive rewards in all three of those. What we also offer with our Cats and Watches NFT is a staking contract that you will receive Ethereum rewards on real Ethereum network. Sometimes with the NFT staking, that's not always possible. Uh, we do have the Vault, and the Vault's a really cool product that we offer for our users uh, that incorporates the Compound Protocol, increasing users' rewards. Some more smart contract information that we have is the buyback, again, depositing an asset, ret returning DYP rewards. But I want to talk a little bit more about our DYP tools because we also utilize our smart contracts in the tools as well, w whether it's locking liquidity with our Vault, our unique voting system that we've uh, created ourselves, or also with our launch pad that has multiple different smart contracts within it to help a project take off whatever they need. Some of the exclusive products that we offer here with DYP is going to be, again, our analytical tools. Our analytical tools are really important because we believe that the users that are the most informed are going to make the best decisions. So we've taken some time and we've actually upgraded the UI on our tools recently to allow users to get smart contract data. 
We have a news section with the latest news where users can actually go in and vote on which the most popular and the high, uh, most interesting articles for them is going to show up at the beginning of the, the page for them. We offer a unique community trust vote, so it can't really be, be manipulated like some of the other websites where you actually have to sign in with your wallet, utilizing the smart contract, you're able to vote on, pro, uh, on um, different pairs, different uh, news sections, things of that nature. So our users know that, hey, this isn't bots that are just up upvoting or downvoting. These are actual real users. Again, our DYP locker is incredibly important for us. It provides trust for users that are maybe potentially looking into uh, another project. That project can lock up their liquidity, making sure that you know there's a lot of more security there. And our launch pad is something that we're currently accepting applications on. We're really excited about that launch pad. Again, we really want to help other projects take off. The launch pad has multiple smart contracts within it, whether it be locking the liquidity, whether it be uh, providing tokens, distribution of rewards, staking, yield farming. Uh, if you're a startup project and you're looking for a place to go, this would be a great opportunity for you. Another unique product that we are very excited about uh, showing today is our metaverse. We are currently under development and we are using the Unity um, tool, excuse me, the Unity platform. Our metaverse is going to actually have not only the virtual reality, but also a desktop functionality. So I know sometimes not everybody wants to use virtual reality. It's not going to be required. Obviously, it's going to be an option, but that desktop app is going to be available. Uh, within the metaverse, you're going to be able to do campaigns, multiplayer, PVP, there's open world, a sandbox type atmosphere. Here in the middle, you can actually see the uh, Cats and Watches NFT integration, 3D model of your cat, which is going to be your companion within the metaverse world. Uh, and we've got all types of utility planned for that and uh, different ways that the users are going to be able to enhance powers and be able to earn or mine faster within the, what you can see here, the mines on the right and left hand side. One of the biggest thing, of course, for us is the real-time interaction with the users. They're going to be able to discuss not only with each other, but what we'd like to show today is with our partners. So here, for the first time, I'm going to be displaying actual in-game demo. This is not rendered, of the Chainlink Arena. This is something that we've recently come up with, and we are announcing for the first time here at SmartCon. And within the Chainlink Arena, our plan is to give, I'm going to wait to land so that Chainlink can actually have multiple buildings. We're looking at a Chainlink headquarters. We're looking at the Chainlink ecosystem. Here you can see the Chainlink labs. This area is going to be full of different users that are interacting with each other, but also interacting with NPCs within the buildings themselves. If they have technical questions on, uh, on Chainlink, if they have some concerns, if they want to take a look at different products that are available, maybe they just want to discuss with other users you know, what's going on. We really see this downtown space as an opportunity for not only Chainlink, but other partners as well to really bring in a, a cohesive I like to call it a metropolis where users can interact with not only each other, but also with entities as well and hopefully have some questions answered and maybe even make some friends along the way. So we're really excited about this. This is something that is currently under development and should be, dev uh, should be released here in quarter four of 2022. Just want to add to that just a little bit here. Um, like I mentioned, this dedicated land is going to be downtown. It's going to be in the central hub. There's going to be other partners that are going to be available, and the users are going to be able to interact with all of them. Uh, like we talked about, there's going to be a headquarters, labs, ecosystems, but we're also going to give Chainlink an opportunity to maybe make some adjustments of their own too. Maybe they have some uh, ideas or maybe they have some things that they want to add that we haven't thought about. Great. We're more than happy to make that happen for them. Uh, the NPCs, I think, are going to be a major part of this because you're going to be able to 24-7 go in, get whatever it, uh, questions answered, any information that you need, all within that virtual space or desktop space if you choose to. And of course, the interaction being so important because not only the user is going to be able to interact with each other, but interacting with the entities themselves in a virtual space versus maybe just social media or email contact, something of that nature. 
last few minutes, I want to take time just to give you an idea of how far we've come in just a few years. Uh, the DeFi yield protocol is very special. We've, within just under two years, released a protocol. We released the DYP token. We've created multiple products on multiple chains, different lock periods, different rates of return. We've got multiple partners. If you go online, its list is just too long to even name right now. Our Cats and Watches Society NFT is really amazing because not only did we sell out a full 10,000, but we've actually got over 100 Ethereum in volume on OpenSea, fully verified. It's incredible. Like I mentioned before, the staking opportunities with that, the floor price has been really strong right now with NFTs. That's a victory in itself. So we're really excited about that. And one of the last things that I want to talk about is, uh, you know, our DYP token. Uh, we actually were just listed here recently on not only Coinbase, but also Huobi. So major accomplishments for us, and we're really excited about that. Uh, we think that this is a great time to be getting in on the DYP um, ecosystem. Finally, I want to talk a little bit more about our continued expansion. Uh, the quarter four 2022, our roadmap is very robust. We've got quite a bit of uh, things coming. First and foremost, the rebranding process. You know, when I say that we're part of DeFi Yield Protocol, and then I talk about all these other products, we don't really feel like that name accurately reflects who we are today. Uh, as far as a new ecosystem, all the products that we offer, we think that it's time to maybe reevaluate the name DeFi Yield Protocol. So what you're going to see over the next few months is an actual rebranding uh, progress. And um, we'll have more information about how that's going to all work coming soon. Uh, we want to continue to expand on our DYP tools. We think this is very important for our users. We think that the more education that we can provide, the more tools, the better that our users are going to be able to make informed decisions. We've got a legal entity that is being incorporated right now in the United Kingdom. So we've got locations in Romania, Albania, I'm in the United States, we've got places in Hong Kong, now UK, so we're global, multiple partners all over the country, all over the world, we're really excited about that. We're also going to, in addition to the three chains that we're on right now, Ethereum, AVAX, BNB, we're going to expand our products to additional chains, uh, Polygon being one of the main ones that we're looking at right now, but also other chains in the future as well. Something that our users are very excited about is the development of our mobile app. This mobile app is going to be available on not only iOS, but also Android, and that's going to be released here in quarter four 2022 as well. We're going to have a lot of full, uh, excuse me, full functionality, a lot of features on the mobile apps. We're really excited about that and something that the community has really asked about. The metaverse platform, which I think you just saw is coming. We're really excited about that. The sky's the limit on that. We don't see that as a three or four month project. We really see that as a multi-year project where, you know, Anything is possible with the, the metaverse. We don't plan on ever stopping developing on the, uh, the metaverse. And then finally, we are going to launch a decentralized aggregator. So we're going to be able to give a lot of more information on a lot of different chains pretty soon, um, things that maybe we don't even have available right now. And you know, just in general, just project growth. We've got a lot of opportunities in front of us. We're here to build. I know it's a, ba a bear market, but we really do believe that if we, s we build now, and the cycle changes, we're going to be in prime spot to really take advantage of it. And that's our goal. And that's really all I have for you today. But I wanted to just say thank you for having us. Um, we're online. You can check us out on our website. We're going to be walking around all weekend. So if you ever see us, want to come up and say anything to us, please do. Again, my name's Daniel Garrett. This is DeFi Yield Protocol. And I want to say thank you for joining us today. Appreciate your time.